All right, Hopkins Middle School. This is HMS Today, and I'm finally your host, Dylan Andriola. I've been waiting months for this, so hello. This is a week of old favorites, so sit back and enjoy. We'll start it off with Mr. Rockwood and Fun Fact Friday. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Today's facts are all about animals, and I'm not joking. Did you know that koala fingerprints are almost indistinguishable from human fingerprints, and they have been confused at times at crime scenes. Also, that snails can sleep up to three years? Wow, that's a long nap. Does Rumpelstiltskin come to mind? Also, that slugs have four noses. Lastly, elephants are the only, only animals that can't jump. That's it for today, folks. Make it a great day. Be kind to one another and jump into a great book this weekend. Thanks, Mr. Rockwood. That was great. What else do we all love? Question of the day. So today we're asking, when have you totally messed up and no one knew? When I dyed my hair orange. When I was doing ASMR. Our math test. test. <laughs> Question of the day. One time, I messed up my sister's room and then blamed it on the cat. I sent streaks on a Snapchat group chat, and um, they didn't say anything. I messed up a pickleball serve, but still got the point. That's wonderful. And don't worry, we won't tell anyone. Now we move on to another HMS interview, which was being recorded as I taped this, so I'll be surprised too. Hello, my name is Ben Yang, and I'm interviewing... Camille Perlov. What is your favorite RA? My favorite RA is Art with Mrs. Willinger. What is your favorite academic class? Math with Mrs. Curris and Science with Mrs. O'Connell. What do you like to do in your free time? Take talk, of course. <laughs> do you like juice or water? Water? Juice is bad for your teeth. Do you like oranges or apples? Oranges! Do you like biking or going on a scooter? Biking. That was good, thanks. And now how about some shout outs? We've really, really nice comments and everyone at HMS TV is very grateful to you. Just look at these things. I'm about to blush. That's funny, Theodore, but you have a little work a little harder. And thanks, Julia. We're really happy to get the update at Cafeteria TV up and running. Okay, now in other news, someone's having a birthday. Happy birthday, everyone. Our last segment today is a new segment of Take It From Me, advice from the eighth graders to the rest of us. If you are a procrastinator or distractinator, this is for you. Uh, James, what are you doing? Playing games. You have an essay to do tomorrow, right? And you haven't even started it. Oh, I'll do it tonight. It shouldn't take long. <laughs> to all sixth graders out there, don't be like James, who has no sense of time management. I'll tell you what's going to happen tonight. He's going to go home and game some more, and then he'll finally realize he has to do his essay. Because of his procrastination and the limited time, he's going to rush through his essay and probably turn in bad work. Yeah, sure. Well, you'll realize eventually. Sixth graders, I'd like to give you some tips on how to manage your time, so you don't become like James. Firstly, don't delay any of your homework and do it as fast as possible because you have other things to do, such as uh, sports and clubs. I know it um, seems better to uh, de delay your work, but it will ultimately harm you uh, in the long term. You will end up uh, turning in bad work because you won't have enough time to do your work. Oh no, I just realized I have a baseball game today. I won't have time to do the essay. I gotta go do it, Hussein. See you. Well, I told you he'd realize. Second, keep all devices and other distractors away from you while doing your homework. Whether it be people or your phone, isolate yourself from anything that could distract you. This will uh, uh, kind of put you in this zone where you can do the best you can in the shortest time uh, period possible. Now we're gonna do your essay, why are you back playing games? Uh, I wanted to play some games on my phone, but I can't find it. Come on, James, let's go write your essay. Now, I hope we've all learned something there. Mm-hmm. Now, let's take a look at have you seen this. Nice job last week. We got seven correct responses, plus Theodore. Our randomly selected winner is Julia Nickerson. Yay. Now for this week, here's a picture of somewhere in HMS. 
Have you seen this? Send us an email and we'll pick up a random winner next week. And that's our wrap up, folks. Stop by our website for more HMS Today and submit your selfies, jokes, pets, sport team photos, and anything else HMS. We'll be back next with lots more stuff. Thanks for watching.